Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, in this tutorial I'll be working with the spherical join command which is coming out of the DMU kinematic design workbench in Kitia V5. So I'll open up DMU kinematics, I'll insert my first part right here. So I'm going to do the first part sketch. So you can follow exactly the same method or the same dimensions and everything whatever I'm working with. out of the sketch and do a padding of uh, say 30 each on both sides and now you're going to create a spherical hollow over here so for that I need to insert a point at uh, 0 0 and at the point I'm going to insert a sphere which is coming from the uh, wireframe and surface design workbench or generally shape design workbench so you have your sphere created right over here now I'm going to insert surface base feature and split now I'll select the sphere and click OK and uh, the spherical portion is removed right here now my first part is ready now the next work is to create the next part so the next part is being inserted under the same product so make sure after you click on insert new part you're clicking on the product and not under the part and uh, next insert the next part so your next part is also going to be a sphere and the sphere should uh, fit inside the spherical hollow which you have created just before so make sure you are giving the same dimension so it should be a radius of 20 you do a shaft of 360 so you have your spherical surface being created now let me create a handle for this so it looks better fit all in so you have your two parts ready uh, for our uh, spherical join command so let's work with the DMU kinematics design workbench once again so the first step as I said before is inserting a new mechanism once you insert a new mechanism you have a mechanism being created here as there is nothing uh, included the degrees of freedom is zero so now I'm going to fix a part here so this particular basement is fixed and now I'm going to go to new joint spherical so the spherical joint is used to uh, uh, joint two parts uh, with its uh, centers so once a spherical joint command is being created on uh, on all the simulations that particular two parts is going to uh, share the same centers so I'm going to show the software that these are the two centers which I want to mate with and I click on OK and it's going to come and assemble to the first part which was fixed so you have your uh, you know spherical joint command being created here but still this cannot be simulated it cannot be simulated because there are still three degrees of freedom for this particular uh, uh, for this particular assembly which you have done over here so the three degrees of freedoms are uh, one is uh, three of them are rotation and uh, three of them are rotation with respect to x y and z axis so for creating a simulation uh, the uh, degrees of freedom uh, should be according to whatever you require so for this particular joint you need to add some more joints so that you can work with the simulation so I hope you enjoyed my video so if you want to uh, do the simulation keep watching because I'm going to do a few more joints for this and uh, I'm going to show you how you can simulate the model so I hope you enjoyed my video thank, thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribe me like my videos and uh, ask me doubts ask me for tutorials and uh, support me please and uh, thank you so much for watching